Have you ever reimagined a sustainable world? Have you ever reimagined a sustainable future? How does that world look like for you? For me, that world is a world where my children can play outside without being concerned about a sudden heat wave or a sudden cold because of change in our climate. It is a world where I can take my family for a vacation, stay at the beachfront, and not wonder about the catastrophic events that may happen because of the rise in our sea levels that may actually lead to flooding. Sustainability may mean so many things for so many people. And today, I'd like to give each and everyone here an assignment to ask yourself that question. How does that world look like for you? Because I believe that until each and every one of us can answer that question, we are not going to start creating that world, not only for ourselves, our children, but the future that is coming after us, the generation that is coming after us. When I completed my undergraduate degree, I had an amazing opportunity to work in the gold mining industry. I work as a plant metallurgist or a metallurgist, graduate metallurgist then. It is around this time when I was also exposed to massive solid waste, not just any waste, waste that is polluting our environment, waste that is occupying considerable areas in our land. Waste that has a great potential to contaminate our water, contaminate our soil, and pollute our air. I teach a module called Advanced Environmental Engineering. And earlier on this year, I gave my student an example. I told them that when it comes to environmental pollution, what we see with our optical eyes is not a complete picture. And I would like to share that example with everyone here this morning. I have a plastic bottle. And I'm sharing this example because most of us are familiar with this, right? This is what you call PET plastic bottle. When this is landfilled, it takes a very long time to be broken down by bacteria. In fact, it may take up to 440 years for this plastic to be broken down in our land. You have heard that correctly, 450 years. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't believe there's anyone here that will live for that long, <laughs> unless you are a robot. <laughs> so that, what does that mean? That means that our action today, should any one of us decide to landfill or pollute our land with a material such as this one, your action will affect the next generation for the next coming 450 years. Plastic pollution in our ocean is one of the greatest challenges in the world. These plastic, plastic bottles, they get to our land they get to our water streams, and they find their way to our oceans. It is actually said that if nothing is done to solve the plastic pollution in our oceans, by the year 2050, we will have more plastics in our oceans than the fish that we consume. You have heard that correctly. That means that the entire ecosystem is disrupted. Not only that, that now begins to even affect food security. I said that there are things that we do not see with our optical eyes. And one of the things with the waste such as this one, it is that it is made of chemicals. When a plastic bottle such as this one is lying in our land, there are chemicals that are emitted. And that picture, ladies and gentlemen, it is a picture that applies to so many solid waste that is generated by so many companies, different industries in our societies. You may see a solid waste that is just lying there, 
But in that, there are contaminants, there are hazardous constituents that find their way into our land, pollute our air, pollute our groundwater and our soil, get into our rivers, pollute aquatic life, and affect our human health and animals. We have researchers in higher learning institutions. We have scholars that are doing amazing, amazing research to solve some of these challenges. We have the industry that is generating this solid waste and polluting our environment. By the way, they are also looking for solutions. We have the government, which I believe that they should really bridge the gap to ensure that the solutions that are generated in higher learning institutions find their way to the industry where we can implement these solutions. Unfortunately, that is not the reality. That is not happening. These three institutions are working in silos. Until we begin to collaborate, if these three institutions do not collaborate, Unfortunately, we will not be able to get to the world where we are beginning to create a sustainable world. Not only for ourselves, not only for my kids, but the generation that will come after us. When I see waste, waste, I see wealth. When I see waste, I see material, raw material that can be used used to develop new, innovative, green product that can solve some of our societal challenges in our country. The United Nations has developed what I would like to call a call for action through what you call sustainable development goals. And these are the goals that outline a framework and provide guidance on how each and every one of us can actually be active participant in creating the future that we want. I'd like to give you an assignment this morning to say that from today or even tomorrow when you wake up in the morning, when you wake up in the morning, ask yourself this question. What is it that I'm going to do today to ensure that I am contributing towards achieving these sustainable development goals. And when you go to bed in the evening to lay your head down, ask yourself this question, what did I do today to contribute towards achieving the sustainable world? A world where my children and their children's children can actually live without being impacted. The truth is that if we do not do anything about our actions today, the future will be affected. We only have this one earth to live in. The United Nations Sustainable Development Goals speak of 17 goals. And in those goals, each and everyone here has a role to play. I've only covered what falls under three sustainable development goals. There are 17 of them. Each and every one of us needs to partake and ensure that they are contributing towards a sustainable future.